we're going to cover two topics in this video. So in Articulate Storyline, if you open a project and you've got missing fonts, what to do with that, how to replace those fonts. Uh, I'll show you that in detail. And then the second one is just how to replace fonts in general. So if you've got a font, so let's say using Arial and you want to change it to be Calibri, well, how do you do it quickly? So it changes it in your entire project rather than just slide by slide. So before we start, Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Anyway, let's get into the instructions on how to first off replace missing fonts from your project. I've opened up a Articulate Storyline file and I can see that it's got missing fonts. So it says that those particular fonts which are used in this course are missing. So that means that they're not on my computer. Now, it doesn't happen very often this, but it does sometimes when a client sends me over a uh, Articulate Storyline file which doesn't use the, the standard fonts. They've got their own fonts and um, I don't, so I need to get the font from them. But let me show you about this part here. First off, a solution to this of actually having the fonts on those to you know, install them on your computer and um, I'll create a separate video of how to do that. But what to do with these? Well, first off, press OK. Then go into uh, Let's check out the course to see what the problem is. Now, I'll click on one of these and see what we've got. So this one here is, is Oswald Light. That's absolutely fine. I know I've got that one. And I'll show you how to find out which ones are missing. But if I click on this font here, so it says it's the Universe LT Pro 67 Bold something, Condense. There we go. So it says, I remember it's saying that this one here is missing. Couple of things to note though, so I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it. So I'm actually just copy and pasting that same piece of text. Yeah. Now that font looks very familiar. So I click on it and it's telling me that there is this, you know, like I say universe font. So I've made a copy of it. You can see it's universe. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to change it. So let's pick a different font entirely. Um, let's go for that font there. Yeah. You can see it's a very different font. Absolutely fine. Let's click on this one. Let's change it though to Arial. Now, is it just me or does that look absolutely identical? So this one here is Universe LT Pro, da 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 da. And this one here is Arial. What Articulate Storyline does, if it can't find the font on your system, it will just replace it normally with Arial um, or maybe Calibri. So just bear that in mind. Now, the reason this is a problem is because I don't know what the font that they want to use looks like. And the font could be literally double the size of this. So though this fits perfectly in this box, if I was to install their font, it might cause it to go outside of the box and be a lot bigger, okay? And I know that because I've fallen for this mistake before. Deleted the wrong thing there. I've fallen for this mistake before sent it off to the client and the client has said yeah it's not all lined up perfectly and the reason being is because i didn't have the fonts but let me show you how to do find and replace on fonts and see the ones that are missing so the way to do it from the home tab is to click on the little arrow next to find and replace and click on replace fonts this is what you want to choose so it says replace and what it does if i click on this it lists all the fonts that are being used now, if it's a font that you don't have in your computer, it puts it in red. So it's very obvious which ones it is. So it's Northwell, Universe LT Pro 67 Bold Condense, which is the one that we've been talking about, and this one here as well. So what you need to do is select the font that is in use. So let's go for that one there. So Universe, da, 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 which we know is pretending to be this one. I can choose what to replace it with. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to pick a completely different font just to show you it working I'll move this out of the way so notice that one there which is meant to be universe in reality we know it's Arial I've said that font there replace it with dual sans ultra bold press replace and we can see it's worked it has replaced it would I choose that font to use no but that is how you do it, you understand it. And something else to know, it changes on every single slide. So if I'm using that particular font on any slide anywhere else in this uh, in this e-learning, close that, let's have a look and see if I am. There you go, you can see it there. It's been replaced as well. 
So it'll go through the entire e-learning and it'll look for it and it'll replace it. But let's do that again with the other fonts. So I'll go to home, find and replace, replace fonts. Let's look for the ones that are missing. So we've got Northwell, let's replace Northwell with Arial. Press replace. And let's go for the Universe LT Standard 45 Lite. Let's pick something really different just so it stands out. Um, oh, that one looks terrible. Let's use that one. Press replace. So you can see that I've changed it and this font down here has now changed into that particular text that I chose. You don't have to be just replacing the fonts that are missing. You can replace any font in there. So you might have uh, changed your mind as to what font looks good throughout the training. So again, find and replace replace fonts pick the one that you want to replace so this one here which if I just move this out of the way is this particular font and I'm going to replace it with something that looks a bit nicer Arial press replace and there we go and throughout the entire training it will have changed it so now you know how to replace fonts that are missing and you also know how to replace fonts where you just want to change the font that's being that's in use. Maybe your client has said to you that as a corporation, instead of using Arial, we're now using Calibri. So I'll replace Arial with Calibri. Press replace. And there we go. It is very easy to do. And it's a lot easier than going through 40 different slides and manually doing it. I can assure you of that. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, now you know how to replace fonts if they're missing or if you just fancy a change in font.